in the flats, not like Athabasca. <laughs> Ted the stick cockwell. And our guide, Brian the man Carter. Hey Ted, show them how easy it is. Cast what do you out like so. What are you throwing, Ted? I'm throwing an owner bullet jig head, ounce and a half, with a Berkeley saltwater hand poured tail. You just cast out into the deep of the channel, work it back. See that transition. Take the transition and no fish, so you do it again. Cabbage weeds predominantly along the edge of the drop, as you see. And we're getting hit just about every cast. Of course, now that we're filming. I'll get it this time. And I just got hit, and it's on. Like I said, it's as easy as that. It's not of it. I started getting electrical shocks. I got four. These guys thought I was full of crap. And Pat zap, zap, gets three, four shocks and we're laughing at him, poking him, not believing him. All of a sudden you can hear the thunder in the background and Brian's going, what's that noise? And I go, it's the thunder, it's the thunder. No, that other noise. We're both leaning in listening. The rod tip that's between us is about this far between us and it's sizzling. The rod tip's just going and that's why we're on shore. We laid in the bottom of the boat and pinned it in here as quick as we could, man. It's insane. We left the fish to live. Live. Fancy. <laughs> What's going on there? You're on you're on candy camera, Teddy. Well we're fishing here in the which river? Colin. Colin River at Athabasca Lake. My pike's going into the cabbage and I don't like that at all. We're fly fishing for pike this morning. Backing you out. What do you think of that guy? He's in the cabin, yep. Nice pike. It's a nice Essox, folks. Probably my biggest on the fly so far. Not huge, but it's a good, healthy fish. We've been catching tons of fish in the 35 to 40 inch range in this, in this river. If we're lucky this one had fallen in that category. Probably okay. on. Tell me how you feel. I feel very happy. I'm in my happy place. Pike on the fly, Athabasca Lake.
over there in the distance is Spring Bay, over where the camp is, some, some ways down. This is, shows you how low the water is. We had to come around the land over here to the left. Normally, you can boat into this place where we are here now. As you can see, we had to come the other way. Anyway, in here, this is called the Sneak Hole. And this little bay. We've been fly fishing all morning and it's chock full. I got over 40, in fact. We've been sight fishing them until the sun went down. Right, Ted? It's unbelievable in here, man. You can just stand up on the casting deck and you can just see them. We were actually pulling it away from the small fish and just uh, picking out our fish, picking the big ones out. Amazing. And who put us on the fish? I did. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh no. That would be Brian. <laughs> do what you can. Gotta do what you can. Thank you, Brian. No problem. Thank you, Brian. There's 146 in there. We're gonna come back for though. Yeah, we gotta get them. That fish honestly was a legitimate 46. <laughs> it was huge. Head, shoulders. Yeah. She was, was thick. That was a big fish. Yeah. <laughs> Right or left, there's a rock coming up underneath us. Heart of Darkness Part 2. Yeah, you're, you should, uh, Am I okay? Should be good. Yeah, We're still that's... on the search for the elusive off, honey good. hole. Okay, well, we think we found it back in that corner. Okay, buddy, here we go. The issue being, we now have to pick our way Look at that through rock. the shallows. Yeah, straight through to. All we need to do is make it to that dark water. There's Ted. Very happy. <laughs> because when we get in there, and up into that corner, we're pretty sure, if legend is true, uh, there'll be wicked big pike up in there. And no rocks, pretty no. soon, our guide might have to get his feet wet. In search of Essex Lucius, the water wolf, <laughs> otherwise known as Pikasaurus You can see Rat. the carnage Pikasaurus. we're leaving behind. We're in it, buddy. We got her, brother. We made her. No rocks? No rocks. Dark water. Dark water. Woo! We've done it. Pike on. Fish of the day. Ready? Yep. Big fish of the day. Take a vertical. I'm working two cameras here for the new viewers at home. There you go. Beautiful. We're back. That's how fast we do her, boys and girls. the Keswick boy on Athabasca. Lots of practice on his Cook's Bay pike. <laughs> this is a big one for Cook's Bay. This is a short one. <laughs> it be an awesome day on Simcoe right here. Yeah, these would be Simcoe trophies. <laughs> Our short lunch fish. Yeah. Yeah, see right in the Yeah, why? Right yeah. There. So he just took the back strap off above the white bone.
done, sir. Thank you. Two more to go. Yeah. Not really. Where's that knife? Hmm? Just bug. <laughs> Where's that knife? Oh, no. I'm just making sure I'm not here. I think if they want some. Oh, the one over there. there. Yeah, just keep moving like this. <laughs> Especially on camera. <laughs> Could well be our again. last He's big fish of the trip. Me. Are you going to get a photograph? Laurel, uh, Brian's, if you may. Decent height? No. <laughs> <laughs> Come no, on. I don't. <laughs> no. Tongue it. <laughs> Did you want a little picture or something? You want a picture of the blog? Sure. Hang on a second. <laughs>